All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Friday. That means that we're using Volcanics. So, of course, you guys know, Volcanics got hit. I know you're like, what are you talking about? Volcanics didn't get hit. They got hit. The, f the thing with this, I, I need to explain this because there was a couple of uh, people, you know, talking and discussing with me about, you know, uh, why didn't you put your sentries on your list? All right, let me explain. The reason why I didn't put your sentries on my list is because your sentries got hit in a way that other decks, in a sense, didn't get hit. And I need to probably explain this. I'm, I'm, I, I apologize that I explained this video. The fact that Vanities went down to one hurts those decks, such as Yusenjus and Volcanics. And what I mean by that is that they are hurt. When this card declares an attack, you can special summon one, like a Band of Beast token. Uh, I'm going to chain you up. I don't, A, I don't want you to get a token, and B, uh, I'm thinking about maybe, and depending on what I get, I might Magical Plant to this Phoenix Chain just to draw. You know, if I'm going to kill you by battle, I might as well draw, right? Now, of course, you know, with when when it came to Vanity's Emptiness, you know, almost everybody was using it, right? Vanity's Emptiness is pretty much splashed in almost every deck, correct? But, <laughs> and this is a big but, most of those decks that ran the Vanity's Emptiness were fast enough to be okay without the Vanity's Emptiness. You know, Necros, they didn't need the Vanity's Emptiness. Sure, it was fine, you know, it was, it was, it was helpful, you know, to lock your opponent down, but they didn't really need it, right? All right. Come full circle, come back to Volcanics, come back to, to, uh, your center. These decks don't really special summon that much. I mean, when you really think about it, what, really, what special summoning am I doing? Besides, you know, Fire and Ice Hand, most of the time I'm just normal summon. A couple, a couple cards, normal summon. One up you with back row. You know, that's mostly what this deck does, correct? But, when you took away my Van... And, and, and Vanity's Emptiness helped with that. I, since I didn't search some that much, I didn't mind going ahead and hitting you with Vanity's Emptiness. Because all that did was slow you down to my pace. You know? Now now we're in a game of normal summons. There, there, There's not... We're not special summon anymore. We're in a game of normal summons. So... With Vanity's Emptiness, it slowed down my opponents to the pace of this deck. With Vanity's being at 1, the, all that did was allow them to go at a faster pace. I didn't get any faster. So, Volcanics, just you, they didn't get any faster. They're still deck based on normal summons. So, that's why I felt like they were going to fall out of favor. Because that, that Floodgate, that Vanity's that everybody had, got taken away from everybody. But it hurt this particular deck the most. And I must defi I definitely say... Uh, that I'm in agreement with that. I'm gonna go ahead and divine wrath you. That divine wrath is very powerful and pitch the ice hand. I want to hold on to the scatter shot in case hopefully I get a freaking and, and see and see I'm using my case. I'm literally just one umping you with back row. I'm slow as fuck. You you won't you won't see me go special summon special summon special summon special summon special summon tack 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 tack. You, know, you won't see that from me. You know I'm probably gonna you now summon one monster at a time, one normal summon and take the dual slow because I'm volcanics. I'm a slow deck. You know, I could summon this freaking shell and poke you. You know what? Fuck it. I was thinking about setting it, but you know what? Fuck it. I'll get the extra hundred. I don't care about the damage that I take. Really, I just want to kind of just, uh, uh, deck then, really. You know? And look how slow I'm going. Like, I don't even have reload. If I don't get reload or rocket, look how slow this duel is going. Look how slow my deck is. And one vanities definitely doesn't help. You know, all I did was, you know, I lost what? I lost two vanities and I lost Blaster. Blaster, Blaster hurt a lot more. That hurt too, because Blaster was definitely a nice help in here. There's a whole bunch of powers, pitch, pop. You know that that nice spot removal that's gone too. So all I did was just you know take those three cards out, put some Mirror Forces in, because you know why not? Mirror Forces is the new popular thing. I'm already running Phoenix Chain, so why not Mirror Force, right? It's like that's that that's like one of the cards next on the totem pole. But yeah, that's that's the reason why I didn't put. And I know you're probably thinking like, well, you know, you know. Uh, oh, Firefish are just as slow. Uh, I went on Hype Factor, and I even explained that in the video I'm on top of that. And I went on Hype Factor. People want to try out. People are wanting, going to want to try out. You know, 3.5 access that they really never got to try out. So, and also the fact that, uh, I was thinking that you might have Torrental, but that's fine. So, my fine hand just fizzles. I don't even get the pop. But I got my reload, so. And really, that's what matters. I just wanted my reload, so. It was a risky play, but you know what? I had to go through with it. So I'll go ahead and give him a shell. You know, also, the fact that Bear hit, 
you know, throw the chair and pop a monster. I, I gotta give Bear that too. I gotta give Fire Fist that too. So if I'm wrong and you send you actually do something, then hey, let's go, you know. Alright, there's that. S. Push the shell, draw a card. Oh, fire hand, cool. So I guess I'll go ahead and take the fire hand, ram it into your mega rape raptor, raptor, raper. Yeah. Like that, that's not I don't care about him. Not at all. But yeah, I had to think I had to explain myself because you know someone wanted to throw a damn pitchfork at me because I didn't have you send you on the list. Like because it's the downfall that you send you. Alright, without you know your multiple vanities, you're just a kind of slow deck. Activate the shell again. Anyway, enough of that. Let me go ahead and discuss my day, my Thursday. Uh, so, calculus. I'm. I'm. I'm oh, wow. All right. Act two. Uh, I've been having a kind of difficult time discussing calculus, really, guys. Calculus three is just so fucking advanced. It's just like whoever said. I mean, I swear to God, whoever had the hell said. That calculus two is harder than calculus three. You're on crack. Definitely no. Calculus three is like take everything that you know about calculus one and two and slap some three D and do all these new formulas and new things and it'll work its whole bunch. Like oh my god, you know, like she doesn't give that many problems, but the problems that she gives take a while. They they you know, it's not a walk in the park with the homework. I must say it it takes a while. You know. And, and, you know, sometimes I do the homework at home. Sometimes I do the homework in class. Actually, on the stars, I actually did the homework, most of the homework in class, you know. she While she was teaching a uh, new lesson, she would do, like, all right, this is how you do it. And I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. Here's And while we were doing the example, while she was doing on the example with the class, I was doing in the homework. And then, you know, I was following how she was doing it while doing the homework. Then I would go ahead, check the back of the book. Oh, okay, I did it right. I was thinking, I was like, you're probably going to grab that scapegoat, aren't you? Which just means that's just going to take me a fucking millennium to get around them scapegoats. Which definitely sucks, so. See? I'm slow, my opponents. I mean, I guess I could, you know, scattershot them, but, you know, unless I draw a. a Royal. I'm not really planning on using the scatter shot unless something urgent comes up. Like I, I immediately have to do it. But for right now, I'm just gonna take the duel slow, just like volcanics are. Slow, like slow. Like you thought, freaking, you know, you thought that uh, that uh, gladiator beast won't do anything because they're slow. Like look at me, I'm I'm normal summoning like this. You know, you know, I, I'm not doing no you know cool tag out action. Go contact few skies race. Pop your shit. No, I'm, that's normal summoning. Poke. Normal summon, poke. Normal summon, poke. Draw, set back row, one up you. You know, it's just not the same without triple vanities. Just not the same. You know, I'm slowing down my opponent to my pace by one upping him with the back row, because at th at this point, at this time, he could probably already have like a Draco sack and all that. But as long as I one up him and slow him down to my pace, I should be fine. There's no point in sending a second mirror force if I haven't even used the first one. And at this point, Mirror Force is kind of dead. Like, Mirror Force isn't even good right now. Because, you know. His monsters can't even destroy a battle by card effect, so. Okay, he's just gonna surrender, see? We'll get another duel in. Be right back. Alright, back with another duel. So, let's see if I can slow down my, my opponent to my pace. Alright, this hand's not terrible. I'm not gonna play the Foolish right now. I'm gonna set this. Except the Divine Wrath, the activates an effect, I'll go ahead and Divine Wrath, pitch the shell, simple as that. Planter is not the best right now, this hand's not even that good. Waiting on him to do something, like, you got something, you got some kind of hand trap? Maxi, Fang Veiler? Ah, <sighs> anyway. Calculus is just a pain. Uh, College Algebra, what we do? We did Inverse. Yeah, Inverse, and we're starting on Logarithms, so... Nothing I've never done before. I actually, 
uh, tutor someone, actually tutored someone in logarithms. So to be doing logarithms myself now, it's just kind of like a laugh. It's like, huh, huh, yeah, this is funny. Yeah. He tried to bust out like a pop quiz, and he was like, you know, you know, take out, you know, take out a piece of paper. Oh, okay. Get another duel in. Right back. So that guy's saying, he tried to bust out a pop quiz. And he was like, oh, take out a piece of paper and put your name on it. All right, now pop quiz. Take out a calculator. Now, what's e to the uh, six? Like, e to the six in my calculator. Done. Like, there's the answer. He's like, oh, you get bonus points. Like, yay, I get bonus points. And it's like, like really? No. The thing is, is that, <laughs> you know. Uh, I don't have a calculator. I literally have to like take out my cell phone and because I, I just never, I don't even own a calculator, you know, because I've never been the really calculator-ish type. Shit, at this point, I'll take the rocket just using 19 beater and I'll just get another reload. Like, some tools I get no, the, no reloads, this duel I get all the reloads, so. So, I'll go ahead and activate that, get the reload. I'll set one reload, one Divine Wrath, and then I'll keep. You know what? I can set two reloads. I'm going to keep... No, no. I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep one in my hand for Divine Wrath, so when it's in the grave, I can banish it to, you know, kind of, you know, redecky my opponent whenever I feel like it, and the other one's going to be on the field to start drawing the shell. All right, so what are we facing today? What is my opponent? Hopefully they're not too fast, because then I'll have to slow them down. Yep. Sorry, sir. I'm going to have to slow you down. You're going to tribute some in red eyes? I don't know. How about you just neg? I mean, I neg even harder, because I pitched two. But I wanted to get that card in my graveyard anyway. See? See, you guys are starting to it's starting to make sense. You're seeing me do it right now, and you're just like, yeah, he is slow, and all he's doing is just one up in his opponent to, you know, slow him down, slow them down to his pace. Told you, I, I preach, preach, Dan, I preach. <sighs> anyway, you know, the teacher's all like, oh, you know, how are you going to, you know, you're driving a car. You know, oh, okay. He's like, you're driving a car without, you know. Your key is like, oh, you don't come to class without a calculator, right? Like, I do. I mean, it's like, yo, this math is too advanced. You're not to come to class prepared without a calculator. Like, I'm in calculus three, and we don't even need this fucking calculator. So don't give me that. So, you know, but I don't, I, you know, my teacher doesn't know I'm in calculus. Like, I sat closer to the front, and I, brought, I put, took out my calculus book, but then I, I saw that he was like, you know, looking at my general, I just put it away. I was just like, you know what, you know, because the reason why I was sitting closer to the front is because I can go ahead and flirt with the girl who I'm flirting with in class. So, I, I talked about her in, uh, what was that episode? Was it Cleese? Yeah, it was Cleese. Uh, okay, Bones just gonna end his turn. That's just totally fun. Just gonna slow him down to my pace. I wanna play this card in my Red Eyes Ubel deck, but I'm worried that there will be too many Red Eyes clogging, because they have to be a level 7 Red Eyes, you know? So I'm worried about that. But I guess I'll figure it out. I'm still working on it. You know, eventually I'll be here. Well, be on Vitamin Y, Red Eyes Ubel. Bottomless torrential warning, something along those lines. For a second there, I thought this cut of red jewels was a uh, uh, the red eye fusion. It's a good thing I fucking sent this, so literally I could just go off and wipe you whenever I'm good and ready. All right. So, like I said, I'm slow, so you gotta be slow with me. It's like, it's like Fire Fist, just one of my opponent's back row. When it was plus one Fire Fist, remember that deck? Where it was just Fire Fist, who were, who were a slow guy, and you just one up your opponent with back row? That's fine. So you just don't take the 16, but you know, my effect still resolves in Grave, so... Just keep that in mind when you think that you're gonna, you know, hit me. Unless you summon your Fusion. If you summon your Fusion, then you can go ahead and uh, have your Armadies effect, but I will, as soon as on summon, I will wipe you, so... Just remember that. You know, if you don't go for your fusion guy, probably let it go. 
what's the ratio? I might, I might look at his deck after. I might save this replay and look at his deck and see what his ratio of the red eyes is and stuff. Because I'm afraid to run this card just because I'm afraid of, you know, drawing this and not having the red eyes. Alright, so. That returns to the deck, return that to the hand. And you can only activate that effect once per turn, only once that turn, so. That's a nice balancing factor with that, I must say, for the for the thing. Cause that'd be kind of dumb if you could just be like, alright, return, get back to hand, summon, should be red eyes, then just keep doing that. Oh, okay, you messed up. You messed up. You misplayed. I can't copy and paste on here. I just wanted to tell you you messed up. Read the last sentence. You can only use one uh, Blackstone of Legends effect once per turn and only once that turn. Therefore, you just normal summon your Blackstone Legend and you get nothing. So you just summon, literally summoned a zero attack monster. Three hundred points of damage. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, fool. You're about to take nineteen to the face. So, you gonna set him back row? That was your normal son. Complete waste. Complete and utter waste. Anyway, uh, talking to the girl. So, you know, like, trying to get to know her a little bit better, and I'm just like, you know. So, I'm like, hey, what do you do with your free time? So, like, oh, I just hang out with friends. So, I kind of snuck in the question while I, without asking the question directly. I'm like, so, I'm like, oh, so I'm like, oh. Yep. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're talking about that? Like, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm chill. It's a good thing that my opponent here is going just as slow as I am. Oh, Compulse. That would be a good card to go ahead and bounce back his fusion. That I'm probably guessing he's going to be summoning. Go ahead and attack. Well, this card is something to protect it, so at least you can, you know, activate its effect. Cause not, at least it's not on summon. Nope. All right. At least it's not on summon. Cause if you know, with on summon uh, effects, you wouldn't get it. But it's just tribute. So we could have protected it with like another fiendish chain. Hey. Okay. No shame in the game. So I kind of snuck it in. I'm like, well, do you, you know, hang out with your boyfriend? Is that you know one of the things that you do in your free time? She's like, oh yeah, yeah, I, I hang out with my boyfriend. Like, oh, there she has a boyfriend. Like, all right. And this is the, this is the reason why this video is called semi shallow. All right. Hey guys, if a girl has a boyfriend, I want nothing to do with her. Like, nothing. <laughs> like, it's literally, like, me fighting with a girl. She, no, I realize she has a boyfriend, I'm done. Like, I'm done. Don't talk to me. I, I want nothing to do with you. And I know. I, I know. It's kind of shallow, Daniel. It's like, what the hell? You know, what if they want to be friends? I don't need friends. <laughs> you know? I don't, I, I don't need friends. I'm not, I'm not here for friends. No, I'm gonna equip him with with the uh, with the uh, black metal all right that's fine like i said i wonder how many because you know with this card it has to be a level seven red eyes it couldn't be just a red eyes monster it has to be a level seven red eye so you see so you're using red eyes black dragon or the gemini monster so i'm trying to figure out you know what the i might stop you I'm trying to think Cause I really would like to keep my volcanic. Yeah, I'll finish chain you. Stop your attack. Cause I would like to keep my rocket in tip top shape. It sounds like some kind of sexual innu innuendo, doesn't it? Keep my rocket in tip top shape. <laughs> you know, it's just like, I, I don't need friends. I have tons of friends and the friends that I have, I'm happy with. I don't need a, a, a friend that's a girl. I really don't. Why? Because uh, see, because in my mind, if I stay your friend and you're taken, the more closer I get to you, the more I'm gonna want you, and the more I want you, the more I can't have you. You know, and, 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 I, and I've been like this as of late. Because when I was younger, I would have friends who are girls, and then I would start to fall for them, but they weren't interested, and I would get super mad. I'd be upset, you know. So and to completely avoid that, and I just I know me to completely avoid that. How about I just 
prevent myself from getting hurt like that by just simply just avoiding me. If you have a boyfriend, I'm not gonna, you know, try to, you know, I'm already, I'm already up in the friend zone. All right, I'm gonna magical planter, get rid of the fiendish chain, exceed these two until I cast. I'll spin that back, run that over. No, I don't need the fiendish chain because I'm, I'm gonna kill you. So why do I need the fiendish chain when I'm really prepared to kill you? Wow, have I been forgetting that shell this entire time? I have. I'm so bad. I've been forgetting my volcanic shell this entire fucking time. So bad. I could literally be drawing more. I'm hopefully drawing into fucking, uh, Royal. No, Mirror Force. Alright. Alright. Gonna go ahead and next see into Castell. Spin back your, uh, Red Eyes equip guy. Cause I don't want you to have him. Attach the catch. Echo back. Unless you got another fingers chain. In which case, hey, more power to you. To tell you the truth, at that point, if he had another fingers chain, I would probably neg and compulse him back to the day. So spin that back, because I'm worried about him plusing off of that. Then just summon Ice Hand, attack, destroy that. Summon Fire Hand, attack, destroy that. So. Still have a normal summon this turn, so I'll go ahead and normal summon. You know, so I would have been okay. Even if he had another Fiendish Chain. So we'll go ahead and run over your uh, Red Eyes Wyvern. wonder how prevalent this card is. How many if they run this card? Seems kind of slow. I mean, it's the 18 beater, but it's kind of slow. Also, it's wind. Like, if it was dark, maybe I'd run it, but it's wind. I'm not even sure if I'd even run it in Red Icy Bell. There's so much I can do with the deck, I'm just not sure. You know, how many Red Eyes is in Red Eyes in the Gemini Red Eyes do you run to make card card of Red Jewels not dead? You know, that's my question. Because it's, it's a good card. Yes, it is. But, how many do I run? That's the question. Anyway, this duel is pretty much over. We're going to tribute that, summon her eyes. Then we got red eyes fusion, all duel. See, all I do is one up my opponent. This entire duel, that's all I've done. He, he, is he faster than me? Oh. Hell yeah, much faster. Are you special summoning? Because I'm fine, I'm saying I don't even special summon. So, but hey, as long as I got back to one up you, I'm like plus one volcanics. See, he used up all three. He used all three of them. He actually used all three of them, and it didn't look like they clogged or anything. Like, I, I want to figure that out because I would love to use this card in Rise you know. It just kind of, like I said, it just kind of sucks. This is, you know, level seven. If it wasn't level seven and you could, it was any Red Eyes monster. Maybe we could talk, but it just seems like you gotta run like what two red eyes. I wonder if it's two red eyes, two black fire. Yeah, pretty much. So, you know, that that's that's just that's just how I am. You know, so she has a boyfriend. I don't want to talk to her anymore. I want nothing to do with her. I don't want to be your friend because I'm gonna be your friend, and you know we're friends. Then I'll start falling for you, and if I fall for you and you're taken, then it'll piss me off and make me upset. You know, and I'm not the kind of person to try to steal you. You know, I'm not gonna try to steal you. So. I guess I'm I guess I'm just semi shallow like that. I guess I don't know. You guys tell me if I'm shallow, but I I feel like I'm in the right, you know. I'm sorry if you want to be my friend, but I don't want to be your friend. It's as simple as that. I, I either either I'm going to be your boyfriend or I'm going to be nothing to you cuz I don't need friends. You know. It's just you know, cuz I don't want to get hurt. Uh, it's much easier for me to be like, "Hey, you have a boyfriend? You're taken? Okay, bye." You know, instead of wasting my time trying to flirt with you, get to know you why. You know? Cause that that seems like that seems like that'd be super shallow, but I might as well do that. I might as well go up to a girl and be like, "Hey, you're cute. You have a boyfriend? Yeah? Oh, okay. Bye." You know? Cause that's exactly what I'm doing in a sense, except I'm going. I'm not beating around the bush. Cause that's essentially what I'm doing. Yeah. I eventually get to know her, get you know, talk to her, you know, and then eventually ask her if she has a boyfriend or something along those lines. And if she does, then I don't ever talk to her again. Cause what's the point? Well, I mean, in my mind, what's the point? 
know, oh, well, if you stay friends with her, eventually she'll make up with her boyfriend, and then you can, you know, sweep her off her feet, and you can get out of the friend zone. I don't got time for that. I really don't. I don't got time for that, you know. There's a ton of other chicks out there, so if you have a boyfriend, congratulations. I hope you stay a wonderful couple, you know. But I'm not going to chase them after someone who has a boyfriend. It's not, it's not my thing. So I guess I'll just stay semi-shallow like that, huh? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. But yeah, she has a boyfriend, so I guess I'll just go back to my seat then. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm not really hunting. I'm not really trying. Girls. You know? There's more women in the world than men, but it just seems like there's just a ton. You know why? Because... It's much easier for a girl to get a boyfriend than it is for a boy to get a girlfriend. It's, it's just, you know, women have it easy. You know? Women have it easy. Men, fucking professional dick salesmen. I'm just going, like, literally, I'm a professional dick salesman. I'm just going around, you know, like, hey, you want my dick? Oh, oh, you already have a dick. Okay, you want my dick? Huh, girl? Huh? Huh? No, you? You? No, I'm a dick salesman. I'm a, I'm a used dick salesman. <laughs> you know? No interest on the first six months. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call that. So, I think I proved my point with Wakans. I literally just wound up the shit on my opponent. He didn't get to play shit. You know? And that sometimes that pisses me off, but that's why I don't say good luck, have fun. You know? That's why I don't say GG. Because it's not. My opponent's not gonna have a good time, because I'm literally gonna one up you. That's, that's how Volcanics are played. Slow, methodical, plus one. It's plus one Volcanics. While I'm activating my thing and drawing and wiping your shit and blowing up your monsters and slowly poking you to death. Volcanics and, and the hitting van the hitting of vanities hurts this deck a lot because now I don't have that 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 triple vanities to you know slow you down to my pace so you didn't see vanities all all these duels and you know if it wasn't for my back row winning up my opponent they literally could have just outsped me and I probably couldn't have come back you know anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of daily duels so thanks for watching thanks for all the support and I will see you guys tomorrow using heraldics with Slate and Omega Chaos. Alright people, thanks for watching.